whatever you want to do in sport, I think you need to have experience. And that sounds kind of like easier than it is, doesn't it? You say, get experience. Well, how do I do that? Write letters, send emails, pick up the phone, call people. And, you know, sometimes you won't get an answer, but, you know, you, you will. Somebody will call back. Somebody will say to you, yeah, why don't you come in for a day and see? Because if you don't really know what the job involves, then you can't really know if it's worth pursuing and if it's worth sacrificing things for. Because it might turn out that that's not the job for you and there's something else within the industry. So get as much experience as you can across many, many platforms. Again, it's experience. You need to be able to write, even if you think, well, I just want to talk on telly. I don't want to write anything. But you need to be able to put your thoughts clearly and concisely into you know, short snippets. And, and often writing them is the best way to do that. So you need to be able to write. You need to be able to collate information. If you're going to be a radio journalist, you definitely need to be able to write scripts. If you're going to be a written journalist, you need to. So you know, that is a, a fundamentally one of the big skills. Now, you can do that tomorrow. You can go to a park and watch a, a Sunday football league game and you can write a report, a match report, and see how your match report stacks up against a Sunday Times newspaper match report. That's something that you could be practicing all the time. And then you can kind of practice commentating on it, or you can practice interviewing. What would you ask? The, what questions would you ask from that game? Which player would you want to speak to? Why would you want to speak to that player? You can you can practice that just watching the telly, you know, watching a football match and putting into practice the things that you would do. So that's kind of experience. It's not going to cost you anything. You're not going to be bothering anybody. But then real experience, going into a newspaper, going into a TV station, that is harder to come by. But it's worth just keep you know knocking on those doors and asking for that kind of help. And there are a lot of people who want to help people into the industry. I think I, when I was younger, I, I, I got through the glass ceilings by not noticing they were there, you know, because I, I think now if I look back, I think, gosh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I asked those questions of those people. And I, you know, I kept knocking on my boss's door asking to do live sport at Sky. And I was, I was a bit more brazen, perhaps, than I, you know, I, I should have been. And, um, and but I, you know, it wasn't that I was impolite. I just wanted experience. I wanted to do things. And I, I was very keen. And I think you have to just really have a little bit of a thick skin, perhaps. and and not take things too personally because there'll be people that you get pushed ahead of you sometimes that you think, oh, I could have done that job, I want to do that. But you know, you have to just keep keep perspective on things that you know, you, you're not always going to be the choice, number one choice for everybody, but experience counts for a heck of a lot and you eventually will get where you want to be if you keep working and keep getting that experience. What an incredible campus. You've got a really nice pitch to play on as well down there. And what a, what a brilliant place to learn and brilliant place to, to engage in sport. Sport has many, many areas that you can work in, that you can be involved, whether it's sports marketing, sports management, sports agency, sports broadcasting. But ultimately, it's what happens on a pitch like that that sends us all off into our jobs. So, you know, that you are truly in the heart of it in this campus.